Most of you may have heard of 3D printed homes. They're built by robots that distribute the concrete-like material layer by layer, creating the desired shape of a building directly on site. Dozens of homes have been built with this innovative technology, and more 3D printed homes are popping up across the globe almost every day. So there is even a 3D printed affordable house in Virginia, which will have been occupied by a living family. People love the idea of owning the resilient, affordable, and decent home. Sadly, it's not something that everyone can have today. In the United States alone, more than 500,000 people are homeless. And with the average uh, salary of $54,000, Average American cannot afford a home for $450,000. Uh, and the worst thing is that we do not build enough. We even cannot keep up with the growing demand for new homes. Last year, we built 1.2 homes, while the actual demand was for more than 5 million homes. To sum up the devastating affordable housing crisis, there are more than one and a half billion people worldwide who do not have access to affordable houses or do not have access to adequate shelter. We all can agree that this is not okay. The way we have been building is not working. We have to build more affordably and faster to increase the supply. And we already have done it before with the car manufacturing. Today, it's fair to say that all of us have access to affordable cars thanks to Henry Ford, who introduced automation to car industry. Now it's time to do the same with the construction industry. Today, I want to take you on a journey that shows you the path on building a home per week or even faster using this innovative technology of construction 3D printing. My name is Anna Chen Yuntai. I am a CEO and founder of Episcore, a company that develops proprietary 3D robotic system to 3D print buildings. For the last six years of my career, me and my team, we have been working hard to crack the code of how to best automate construction. Currently, 3D printing technology is portrayed by many as a remedy for the affordable housing crisis. But despite what many experts in the field may say, I can assure you that the answer is no. Construction 3D printing technology just itself won't solve the affordable housing crisis, but it is an essential piece to the solution. And this is why. 3D printing only produces exterior and interior walls that commonly refers to the shell of a house. It's not the entire house, but shell of a home can consist of up to 80% of all materials that we actually need to build a home. The good news is that now we can fabricate or 3D print the heavy part of the construction process on site. Just imagine how much money we can save on transportation and labor cost. Take a look at this big rig trailer. It holds dry 3D print material that can produce the wall structures of a 2,000 square feet house. This is basically everything you need to 3D print the walls. We call it Insta House, just add water. It's that simple. 
we add water to concrete-like material, and then the robot uh, extrudes the layers into a solid, large structure of a house. This is why we believe that starting with the automating the wall construction is the first step in allowing us to rethink construction and improve the process. Logically, no walls equals no house. But even if we can 3D print the walls of a house in 24 hours, there are still many factors that go to the home building process. Roofing, windows, plumbing, insulation, and we call it secondary construction. And this is where the technology can play the another essential role, how we can improve the home building process. The installation of the secondary construction, it's traditionally a massive pain process due to the lack of precision of the walls that typically assembled manually. In contrary, with the 3D printed precisely wall structures, we can increase the installation of secondary construction and reducing the chances for errors that may occur. And this is where we can fight for hours, minutes, or even seconds in the construction process. Fundamentally, we see no difference to achieve the same level of efficiency as in pit stop in Formula One. Current record for the pit stop in Formula One is under two seconds. That includes lift up the car and replace the four, of all four tires. Is it possible to bring this amazing efficiency to the construction industry? With the precisely 3D printed, accurate, and consistent wall structures? It might be. So, we, we are getting closer to building a home per week. But we still have a bit more to solve. Today, we face a massive labor and material shortage. It's reported that there are more than 400,000 unfilled positions in the construction industry. About 80% of home builders and developers, they simply cannot find people and workers they need. So where these people go, where they are? Well, about 2 million people left the construction industry after the crisis in 2008. Current workers getting retired in the record numbers. And uh, millennials like me, we have little interest in performing jobs that dangerous, dirty, and physically demanding. In addition to that, we have a very big material shortage. It's reported that in 2021, more than 90% of home builders experienced the delays and material shortage. This is absolutely staggering. Imagine going to the restaurant and nine times of ten times your food is delivered tomorrow or in a week just because there are not enough properly trained chefs or waiters all the time late to the work or management couldn't get the materials on time and imagine it happens with all of the restaurants across the country. If that was reality, we would never go out to eat anymore. So, we do need to get more people working in the construction, but we also need to build faster and more efficiently. And this is where we got to the last, but not least, step in our journey, how to identify ways we can improve the construction process. This is workflow optimization. In traditional construction, it's really hard to coordinate large crew or get people work in the perfect harmony like honeybees can do. Bees, they are the mother nature's best workers. They can work in the perfect harmony when they 3D print their hives. 
with identical, symmetrical, and precise hexagons. It's no surprise that it's not easy to get even the best crew in the world to perform with the same level of efficiency and in the same synchronized manner. Now, let's imagine that we can have several 3D printers working at the same time on a different part of the, of the building. That will allow home builders to stay organized and increase productivity. Their crews can install windows and doors at the same time as the printer works on the new section of a building. This could significantly increase the workflow optimization and allowing more homes to be completed much quicker. So, as you know now, probably, the 3D printing technology is not the single answer to all of the wrong happening with how we build houses today. However, it's in need a catalyst in improving the overall construction process. I hope that I was be able to provide you with the perspective on how the technology of construction 3D printing can help us take first step in battling the housing crisis. I believe that we can build a house per week. And when we will do this, we will be able to live in the world when the house is affordable and accessible for everyone. Thank you.